and I can change the offset to this. So if I wanted it to kind of be a little bit like that, give it a little bit of a two level effect, Monty Python fans. So if you want to make these things fill out a bowl online, I love to do this on, it's a website called PDF Escape. Last I checked, it's free and you can kind of like drag where you want people to be able to fill out. So here, like each line, you would have to do a drag and drop so that people can make sure that like, this is a time that gets filled out. This is a time that gets filled out. Yeah. So different things that you could add to your own planner pages. Surely that's a great idea. What would you guys add to your planner pages? There's a lot of different things that you can add no matter what niche you're in and what you talk about. So obviously these things are like super, super exciting, super exciting. So again, to recap, we can go ahead, by the way, this is another one of my favorite things that I'm going to show you because I think it's super important. So we've take we wrote the word notes down here before. We're going to just pop it right back up here. We're going to make this a little bit darker just for our purposes here. And I'm going to actually copy this page because another thing that I wanted to show you, if you guys are line people and you can do, there's a few different things that you can do to add lines. One of my favorites is so that you don't have to try to figure out like the perfect spacing. And sometimes it's really difficult with, you know, lining everything up and filling out spaces perfectly. I'm not kidding you when I say this. I literally do. You hold down the option key and then you go to the key that's directly to the right of the zero key. And it's this line. I'm sorry, shift and it does this line at the bottom. And so once I have it and it fills up the page or fills up the line that I want it to do, I command A. And then I'm going to command C a bunch of times. That's it. And so now I can have actual notes lines that I don't have to figure out the alignment for, that I don't have to make sure are actually like in perfect alignment constantly. If the lines are too far apart, you can go up here to the spacing and you can change the line spacing. Oops, that's the letter spacing. Ignore what I said. Change the line spacing so that they're smaller. And so now we have this big page and I didn't have to try to figure out all of the lines and I didn't have to figure out things. Um, and you can zoom in. And if you see, let's see, can you see a line between them? If you're uncomfortable, if you see like an itty bitty part of a line, you can change the letter spacing so that there's no spacing at all. Sometimes that edits the last line there and that's fine because then you can just, oop. we're just doing, again, it's like that underlining underscore thing and that's it. Super, super simple. One of my favorite things to do, especially to fill out a page, if you just wanted it to be blank for notes or whatever, you can add plenty of different things to make a boring note page more exciting. You can go over here to change the transparency. If you don't like the super dark lines, you can change it to be lighter. You don't have to change the font color. There's a lot of different things that you can do. So again, to recap really quick, we started with this inspiration. We have never touched this page at all. It was just kind of a an outline. We have now made two different notes pages, a full planner page that we can obviously edit and customize, a checkbox page, which we will come back to in a hot second. And now we're going to move on to checkboxes because this is another really fun thing. Like absolutely one of my favorite things to do is create checkboxes, which sounds super boring, but I swear I'm going somewhere with it. So I like to start with something simple, but I sake of time, I was really concerned that my computer was going to poop out on me. So I didn't want to do to like, hopefully like fingers crossed guys, my computer won't break. But these were some of the ones that I made and I'm going to show, show you guys some of my fun favorite things to do. So I'm going to delete this completely and we're going to go over to elements and whether or not you have the free plan, you can get these elements. We're going to do it super simple. And we're going to go to lines and shapes, just a plain old box. And let's say we wanted to do an outline for it. Here's an outline. We are going to change this color so that you can actually see it. These outline perfectly together. And I can change the offset to this. So if I wanted it to kind of be a little bit like that, give it a little bit of a two level effect, Monty Python fans. Only slightly higher, so you get the two-level effect with a little path running down the middle. A path, a path, a path, a path, a path. We can do this crazy cool thing. So if we're going to be duplicating this box, 
it's really frustrating when you accidentally like move things or when you have to like move things around and there's a lot of them. And next thing you know, you've gotten this one like way over here and you're like, oh crap, how did I do that? I didn't mean to. So what I like to do once I figured out the alignment that I like and the color scheme that I like, I highlight them both and I do command G or you can click on group. And what that does is it changes everything as a group. It makes everything together. It connects them. So now I can no longer just move them apart. They are one unit, <laughs> just one. And if for some reason I decided that I wanted to ungroup them, it's just a one click thing. Or you can do command shift G if you're a computer um, keyboard whiz. They have a few other options here um, as far as like outlines that you can do. Oh, and that's like an outline of an outline. Ooh, fancy. They have a bunch of different options that you can do. I'm a sucker, I'm a glutton for like punishment. And sometimes I like to make my own things, but really you could have just done this. There's that, and now we're going to give this guy a color as well. So see how there's an outline around this, an outline around the outside there, and then there's a drop shadow. So it can be as customized or as simple as you want to make these things. Okay, so really quick, one more thing, because we had a question about making the lines that are dotted. So there's this line that you can use that's dotted, as you can see, and you can customize these inside of, these are all just the different line options that they have. This one's rounded, this one's dashed, this is dotted. You can change the weight of them, which means like how thick they are. So you can do this as, you know, you could use this as like a header if you want to separate different sections, or it can be super teensy tiny. Now remember though, like, Things are going to show up differently once it's actually printed out. This looks pretty small, right? But once you print it out, it's like, whoa, that's big. So always go smaller. Um, I also like to, I like to try to zoom in as much as possible so that I can get an actual idea of what it's going to look like on paper. And so usually 100% is kind of about what you can expect. Like if you held it up to your computer screen, they should overlap basically. And so that really helps in kind of figuring out the weight of things. So whichever one you want to use, this again, you can do solid lines at the end. You can do dashed lines if you wanted to do something like that. It's really awesome. And then you can change them, by the way. This is really fun. You can change the ending of them if you wanted to do an arrow. Or you can, you could do diamond. You could do cute little arrow. There's a lot of different things that you, we're going to copy, paste. Okay, let's see if I can, do, we're going to zoom out so that you guys can actually see this whole this nonsense all happening at the same time. Copy and paste. Let's see if we can do this copy paste. Move you guys up together so that I can have a better idea of how many I need. Copy paste. We're gonna do our tidy up magic. So this is a hot mess. Ready? Let's see what we got here. Position, tidy up. Boom. Ta-da! Ta-da! It's super exciting, guys. Super, super exciting. So that's where my favorite, one of my favorite things, honestly. And then if you are like, you know, I really want this to take up more space, you can highlight them all and drag to make them bigger or smaller. It does change the weight of the line. So that is worth mentioning, but it's something that you can do. And then we can make sure that it's centered.